Let's build a super sized watch. Happy New Year everybody, Jacques here. So I want to go over the hardware that's needed for this watch clock. So I'm going to take it apart, go over some of the details inside and put it back together. Let's do it. So that's it. I'm going to show you how to put this spring inside here. <laughs> it's not that it can be tricky, but it's not that hard. If you need to take if you put the spring the wrong way you need to take it out. Start with the middle and slowly pull one coil at a time. always hold so it doesn't jump out you might need some gloves maybe. <laughs> and there it is <laughs> yep that's exactly what should not happen so that's why they say be careful with those springs so yeah watch out <laughs> if you have the spring like this you can just put it in and then push the wire will just come off as you push it in the other way hook the spring there there's one thin barrel and a thick one thick one first so there's room for the nuts, or the heads, or the screws. And this, the shaft is uh, fixed in here, so it doesn't move. There's nuts, metric free nuts, that are inside those holes. all the screws in hand tight I take a knife utility knife and just make a clean the edge those bearings you can take off the shield clean them out so they roll better I haven't done it I made this spring with a one millimeter piano wire tied it to the bolt I made four loops around makes enough spring the spacer is built in this gear you can print it like this on the bed without any support it just works just fine so there's three bearings one here, one here, one here the bevel gear it's loose. The harbor is pretty tight so it doesn't come out. Don't forget the washer on the back. Some rods are shorter. They'll come in the middle. This frame, take the edge off with a knife. Put the bearings. This is tight fit wheel, there's a square, there's a square and a thread inside a nut and a little piece of rod the center shaft this needs to be fixed on this because that will power the minute hand make sure you have enough length at the back to go to the bearing and don't forget this little spacer here. This is a piece of one millimeter piano wire in here that will hold the stem so it doesn't move. 
holds it in position. Space up. Check the clearance here and here. But there's a little bit, a little bit of motion. Next come the escapement. So those holes, they are bigger on this side. So just use a rod and carefully work out the hole until it's just loose but no play. The holes for the pins to guide here, I use one of those. But if you drill those holes then it, it, there'll be too much play. So just use this carefully loose but no play. And then the, the banking pins here I just just put in uh, check the length not only 10 millimeters here. And then that space uh, I have some pins to hold them together. Okay so now I can start putting together the escapement. Escape wheel, the spacer, tube in the front, shaft is the harbor is tight, anchor, same thing, a little spacer, piece of tube, the bounce wheel, so I tuned it in another video, added some weight until it's heavy enough to slow it down for 0 0.6666 milliseconds per beat. So I added weight until it was slow enough. There's small bearings, 2 two by 5 bearings here. There's a longer spacer. The spring is fine as long as you're not pulling on it. Then there's a little one more space. Uh, the small diameter against the bearing. Make sure the pin is engaged in the anchor. Now comes the fun part, the top, comes the fun part, the top frame. Oh. It helps if this is longer than the other ones so you can position it. You want to center the spring with the balance wheel. Sh uh, second harbor, the second hand will come here, so it needs to be tight. There's a spacer here. Then this, the shaft is tight on the gear, and the last frame. Show you how the bearing. Then. I have a bit, uh, washer here. And that will be what they call a cannon pinion. There's two pieces of piano wire in here and those screws push against the piano wire so it makes a controlled friction. 
here. Tight enough so it drives the hand. This gear is pressed in. Glue it if it's too uh, loose. Then I have a bushing. Bushing needs to turn. And the rod will come here. On the back side, it lantern gear that will engage with this to set up the time. It's working! The hour gear needs to spin. A good way to do the inside is roll a piece of sanding paper and clean. And the second indicator and then again put the face. So you want to check that you have a little bit of play, all the ones, not too much, so and that the escape wheel is aligned with the anchor and the anchor aligned with the balance wheel. And because it's a watch, so it can basically go all position. And because the gears stick out, so I made that stand. You can put it on a shelf. <laughs> so that's the quick build video for this 3D printed watch escapement. Hope you like it. Stay tuned, I'll talk more about tuning up the escapement, the balance wheel. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and I'll see you in next video. Bye.